Post Tesla, Baidu. It's time to buy from the Google of China to the Tesla of China. Electric vehicle, the EV market, which is started by the Tesla, is now rule over sectors of stock market. EV investors are going to have to get used to hearing about competition from companies other than traditional automakers. It's because where the new biz is rising, there is the money bonanza. Every day, every second, every investor's a giant amount of money is finding that bonanza. A few days ago, China's internet search company Baidu announced that it's teaming up with China's automaker Geely to build a smart EV. Isn't that a great naming, smart EV? That reminds us of legendary keynote Steve Jobs brought up the smartphones. Now everything is becoming smarter and smarter, and right there is the money jackpot. Adding to that, the news that Ark Invest, led by the Cassiot, held $600 million in Baidu stock. Boost is rising without a roof. At first, who is the Cassiod and what is the Ark Invest? If you're one of the Tesla shareholders, you must well know about the Catherine Nude of the Ark Invest and its giant ETF. Cassiod played a role in convincing Tesla. CEO Elon Musk to keep his company published after Musk's 2018 tweet, "I'm considering taking Tesla private at $420, funding secured." Sending a letter to the Tesla board that she believed that valuation of Tesla would reach $4,000 in five years, whose prediction become true within three years, and she's now predicting that Tesla would be reach $7,000 in three years till 2024. And the legend goes to the 2020 report on December 23rd, 2020. CNBC reported that Ooz Arc Innovation became the largest actively managed ETF with a 170% return in 2020. On January 20th, their following report accounts that Ooz expected explosive earnings in 2021 as companies continue to bounce back from the last year's recession. Remember the name Cassiot and write down her ETF and Arc Invest. She is the most powerful figure in the IT stocks. And here comes the point. Guess what is the next stock she cherry picked? Right, today's hero, the Baidu. And interestingly, their autonomous vehicle industry, not their original place search engine. Cassiot commented that autonomous will lead by the company who have the data. Right, the data really matters and become the power. Barrows made the headline into this way. Baidu is entering the EV industry. Tesla bulls beware. Why is the Baidu and how could they be the rival of the giant Tesla? Let's figure out the secret from now on. Let's title today's video into this way. From the Google of China to the Tesla of China, Catherine News Pick, Baidu. A few days ago, Baidu announced a strategic partnership with Geely aimed at manufacturing electric vehicles. Baidu is China's largest search engine and Geely is China's largest private automaker. They joined their forces for building of the future. As part of the deal to set up an intelligence electric vehicle company, so called a smart EV, Baidu will provide in vehicle software while Geely will put its engineering capabilities on the table, with the new passenger vehicles to be produced at Geely factories. That was really a giant which can move tremendous amount of money on the stock market. Recently, car makers, startups, and tech giants have been racing to bring the autonomous vehicle to the customer passenger market. By entering joint ventures or through the acquisition of tech passenger vehicle to be produced at Geely's factories. China's EV industry, which is the world's largest, has also undergone tremendous changes over the past few years. With homegrown startups like Neo, Xpen, and Li Auto lining up to the challenges US car maker Tesla's dominance as demand rebounds. Neo, which last week unveiled its first luxury electric sedan, the ET7, and is making plans for groundbreaking solid state battery. So its New York listed shares surged 187% over the three months. Xpeng jumps 163% while Li Autos gained 83% in the same period. This is where China's EV market is standing. Wow, how happy it is! There are so many chances to make money and be rich. I mean, along with the Tesla stock. 
by some estimates, the global autonomous vehicle industry could be $7 trillion by 2050, ignited by Tesla and extending its genre by lots of companies. And Biden knows the fact and they also have the power to embark on that expansion. It's the decision to finally delve into the smart EV space, show its ambition to become the China's transportation powerhouse with a self-developed Apollo, one of the world's largest open-source driving platform. The move from Baidu picked the interest of ARK Investment run and led by Catherine Nood, who has been adopted a female Warren Buffett and most known for having had the foresight to bet big on Tesla. Wu's team bought nearly 400,000 shares of Baidu, adding up to the 2.7 million Baidu shares currently held by the three of the ARK Investment funds. Baidu is the brain, Gili is the body. It's a perfect match. Founder of Shanghai-based consultancy autonomous foresight Yale Zhang told. This is definitely a positive development in terms of auto industry's shift to electrification. At first, robotic taxi service. Biden's decision to product cars have caused a stir in capital and autonomous market. But Baidu is more likely to build a robot taxi fleet than sell the vehicles to individual customers like Tesla, Apple, and others do. Baidu did not offer details on how its vehicles will be different than those from Tesla and any other gasoline car challengers or when the vehicles will hit the market. Though much remains a mystery, the news drove investors into a frenzy. Baidu's stock price hit $265 and is predicted to go farther. And Apple and Sony also announced that they will join this arena and make their own actual car lineups. This kind of news spurred the price of related stocks and they are on the roll. But unlike the Apple or Sony, Baidu are not expected to product any customer products, so it would be unwise to try its hand on its more expensive vehicles. Yale Dang, managing director of Shanghai-based consulting firm Automotive Foresight said that, Baidu may try to promote its Apollo system as well. It can tailor-make fleets of robot taxis with its own autonomous system, enhance its popularity with the passengers, and then convince car makers to use its system. Zhang said, even if it does not work out, it can grow its robot taxi fleets because offering mobility service will replace selling cars as the auto industry's most profitable area. Baidu now operates the autonomous robot taxi service Apollo Go in Beijing, Changsha, Guangzhou, and plans to expand 30 cities in three years. Rather than selling the smart EV car directly, they would like to produce them only for the robot taxi usage. Robin Lee, CEO of Baidu, said that China has become the world's largest market for electric vehicles, and we are seeing the EV consumers demanding next-generation vehicles to be more intelligent. The second, Baidu self-driving. On December 8, at the second Baidu Apollo Ecological Conference, Baidu fully demonstrated its latest developments in the field of intelligent transportation, smart cars, and autonomous driving. Among them, the LEGO-style car intelligence solution is most interesting point. As the name suggests, Apollo LEGO is to allow car companies to use their ready-made modular solutions to freely assemble and build their own intelligence driving system including high quality, more open, and able to assemble, smart driving, smart cabin, smart map, and smart cloud. It's all about the smart and customizing. From autonomous valet parking to intelligence assistance, from car navigation maps for people to high-precision maps for cars, digital cockpit that is multi-displayed system inside of the car, cloud system, and advanced driving assistance system called ADAS. Let's go back to the Baidu's Apollo itself. The main hub of Baidu's automation effort is Apollo, its open-source autonomous driving platform which originally launched in 2017. Baidu COO has called Apollo the android of autonomous driving industry. More than 150 partners worldwide use this service, including automakers Chevy, Ford, Honda, and Volkswagen, as well as the technology company Intel. 
Baidu's Apollo is expected to extend its power to the App Store, vertical application, computing platform. There are huge lucrative chances ahead on the road of Baidu thanks to their thousands of patent-related self-driving, smart car softwares. The third, smart city powered by Baidu. Baidu World Congress was held in Beijing with the theme of Yes, AI Do. Baidu founder Li announced a series of AI-related plans and products and announced the Baidu AI City, ACE Plan. ACE refers to the autonomous driving, connected roads, and efficient city. A plan to bring AI to every city in China. ACE plans to land in Beijing and Shanghai to express Baidu's belief and prospects in developing smart cities in the AI field. Baidu's core technologies are in AI, cloud computing, and intelligence traffic system. The end goal goes to the smart city, smart transportation. CEO Lee said that the future of intelligence transportation has broad prospects, but it's not enough to have the smart cars. It also needs the smart roads. And Baidu will use the AI thinking to reshape intelligence transportation. For the first time, he clearly started that Baidu is using AI thinking to intelligence transportation. He believes that using the internet thinking to solve the traffic is an outdated. The intelligence transportation of AI thinking has the characteristic of comprehensive perception, global decision making, and real time control, which can greatly improve the efficiency of the urban traffic. The general manager of Baidu Smart City said that the past city is passive, it's not unconscious. It just doesn't wake up. AI will wake up the sleeping city and make it live, grow, and listen. A well-understood agent. This is a very complex system that requires very broad spectrum of AI capabilities, which Baidu has been thinking about and good at. For the advantage of AI, Baidu extends its all aspect of social values and economic value. Lee said, Baidu believes that AI will make the world a better place. In the future, Baidu has plans to incorporate its AI technology in other areas in order for Beijing to become a leader in innovation and smart city technology. VP of the Baidu said that Baidu Apollo will continue pushing for the commercial application of autonomous driving. With our technology and platform advantage, we can contribute more to the development of autonomous driving and smart transportation in Beijing and support the city to become the world-leading AI innovation hub. Winner takes most. I borrowed this phrase from Cassiod of ARK Investment, who has made her followers very happy with heavy investment in Tesla shares. Her thesis was always a long-term view that Tesla would own autonomous EV plus ride-hailing space, with their capability to generate 80% of gross margins her vision for Tesla as an investment is unfolding much faster than even she anticipated, as she expected the real disruptive innovation fruits to take another decade to blossom. Now, even though Baidu is not going to take the Tesla in the luxury and mid-tier EV market, their total addressable market opportunities in China could be even greater than the autonomous driving for the masses. Then, let's see what's happening. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and show your thumbs up. And I will hop around the world and bring lots of thousands of Venice tourists to you. Let's hop around together. Thank you and see you again.